being the fullback and against this kind of defense, is it really important to get Monty or whoever in, in the second level? Is that kind of put more on your shoulders in this kind of game? It is. They run, I mean, I've been saying they run kind of a 3 4 type defense, so they present some different. Um, some different running opportunities for us, and, and it's been different, some, prepar- some more preparation stuff. Um, but schematically, we're sticking to, to, what, to what we do. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's all about getting Monty to the second level on the safeties, and uh, that starts with the whole line and, and myself and the tight ends. Is this a little different defense you guys have seen? I mean, a, a go back and forth, kind of like every play, that's not necessarily a nickel defense or like that, you know what I mean? Yeah, it is a little different. Um, and it's been, it's been good to have extended preparation for that. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, they present, like, like I said, a 3-4 type defense. Right. And um, they move the defensive ends and linebackers right. around, so it's a little different. we got to play in, play in the open field with our big guys a little bit, but it, it'll be a fun challenge. Yeah, they're kind of saying that they want to make you guys one-dimensional, which kind of means, you know, slow you on first down on those runs. So is that going to be the important play, first down, making sure you, you guys aren't caught in that second and long, third and long? It is, and I think I think that's been, um, that was big in the Big Ten Championship as well. When we were behind the sticks, um, I think it was the second quarter we we didn't, we didn't do well with first down, and that, that we didn't do well in, in, in our drives that way. And I think at Wisconsin, we need to be able to, to get, do well in first down, at least get three or four yards, so we can keep our playbook open and, and do things that way. Now, speaking of that, are you, are you kind of weapon X out there? I mean, catching those passes from Russell, every time he throws it, you catch it. And, and, and they've been susceptible to the wheel routes before, so you kind of could you be the guy that's uh, been out looking to make a play? Possibly. Um, just depends what they present. Right. Uh, it's, it's a game time decision. I mean, Coach Chris. Calls it as he sees it, and just depending on what they present, what, what, what they're defending well, um, depends what we call them. And I think if I get the opportunity, I know, I know Russell can put it on the spot and hope that I catch it again. You put all, all the special teams as well. How important is that going to be for you guys to not get caught behind? This it's huge. Fans? I mean, obviously, with the speed and stuff like that, um, they, have, they have playmaking ability on those units, and, and we've been stressing it all throughout our, our preparation. And, uh, Coach B is making a huge point of it, so it's it's exciting for the channels, and I think I think the guys that are special teams, like specials, you know, are, are really excited and, and amped up for it, and they're ready for the challenge. What's it like here the second time around? Is it totally different than the first time? It is it is different. Uh, I, I like I like it. I mean, you just feel more comfortable. You're not shocked by everything. And, uh, they treat you like stars out here. It's it's, it's an awesome experience uh, to be here with this team and, and this coach, coaching staff again is very special. And, you know, was Russell wide-eyed at all? Did you get to kind of settle him in, or I don't know if he gets every wide-eyed, but yeah, exactly. I don't, I've never seen Russell wide-eyed. Really, uh, just a guy that's real composed, uh, just just a great guy, and, and uh, yeah, I don't think he's been wide-eyed at all. He's enjoying his experience with us, and it's been fun. Right?